Hi everybody, today I am talking about Harry Potter. As most of you must have heard by now, there are two big cauldrons boiling with new Harry Potter projects. One of them is the Western play titled Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which we now know is the eighth Harry Potter story. Uh, set after the Deathly Hallows epilogue, it's about Harry, who's now a middle-aged, overworked ministry employee, and his youngest son, Albus Severus, who's trying to cope with the pressure of being the son of the famous Harry Potter. The play will premiere at the Palace Theatre in London's West End next summer, and tickets are on sale now. So far, so good. But I see a big problem with this. In my opinion, the world of Harry Potter belongs to everyone. Almost everyone can afford to buy the books or the movies or you know someone who can lend you the books or you can borrow them at your local library. Everyone can take part. However, everyone can't afford to go to London and see a play. I'm sure the play will be great. The creators work very closely with J.K. Rowling and I have to say I trust her judgment on this, but it bothers me that this is a Harry Potter story that not everyone will be able to enjoy. And that's all I have to say about that. So, on to some more positive news. The first pictures from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them were released last week. Yay! Quick recap of some of the things we know so far. It's about Newt Scamander, magizoologist and author of the Hogwarts school book Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The movie is set in 1926 and Ed Redmayne, Oscar winner for The Theory of Everything, and he also played Marius Pontmercy in the movie adaption of Les Miserables. Do you hear the people sing? Plays Newt, and apparently his suitcase plays quite a large role in the story. We know that the American Ministry of Magic is called the Magical Congress of the United States of America. We now also know the names of a whole bunch of characters, among them two sisters, named Porpentina and Queenie Goldstein. Relatives to Anthony, anyone? J.K. Rowling is writing the screenplay and it's gonna be amazing! I am genuinely really excited about this. I think it's gonna be great. Last week, J.K. Rowling also revealed the American word for muggle. No match, which is short for no magic. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is the first movie in a planned trilogy and it premieres November 2016. For more information about Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, I suggest you visit pyromore.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Fun fact, the grandson of Newt's commander, Rolf, later married Luna Lovegood, and they had twins called Lorcan and Lysander.